This is a magnetoplasma dynamic thruster, and it could soon revolutionise space travel. You're about to learn how it works in four steps. But first, here's why they're so special. In the same way that firing a bullet makes kickback, traditional chemical rockets fire hot gas to make thrust. Instead, MPDs fire plasma, but up to 50 times faster than a chemical rocket, in theory making 50 times more thrust for the same amount of propellant, or in practice needing 50 times less propellant for the same thrust, meaning you can take much more useful stuff on your trip to Mars. Let's now see how they work, starting with the lower thrust self-field MPD thruster. Step 1. Make an electron stream. A power source charges two pieces of metal, one positive and one negative. Negatively charged electrons flow to the cathode and are attracted to the positive anode. When the pull is strong enough, the electrons jump to the anode like a lightning bolt and eventually flow back to the cathode again. The current does two important jobs. Firstly, it makes a plasma. Gas atoms flow into the electron stream and are hit so hard that its electrons are knocked away from the nucleus, creating a soup of charged particles called a plasma, the fourth state of matter. We'll soon see how we can use magnetic and electric fields to do useful things with the plasma. But now that we've made our plasma, let's see the second job of the electron stream. Step 3. The self-induced magnetic field. Moving charges, like in the current stream, create a circular magnetic field around itself. When charged particles move through that magnetic field at 90 degrees, that charged particle feels a magnetic force, also at 90 degrees, called a Lorentz force, that pushes the charged particle away. And this takes us to our final step, plasma acceleration. The plasma moves into the nozzle and reaches the anode. The plasma is a soup of protons and electrons. The electrons are attracted to the anode and move toward it. The protons are repelled, but don't move, because the protons are much heavier than the electrons. It's like pushing a toy car versus pushing an actual car. The electrons move outward through the circular magnetic field and experience a Lorentz force to the right. As the electrons are pushed out of the thruster, they also drag the protons with them. The plasma reaches speeds of up to 100 km per second, and the reaction from firing the plasma creates thrust. But self-filled MPDs are only really good for low thrust applications. For travelling to Mars, we need much higher thrust and more power. But for self-filled MPDs, increasing the power creates plasma instabilities. The solution is the applied field MPD which uses more power, but also produces more thrust. An external coil produces an external magnetic field, which now dominates. The field strength is used to adjust the thrust level. But now, the dominant magnetic field in the thruster is horizontal, and plasma acceleration is more complex. Notice the entire wall becomes the anode. The plasma is attracted to the walls through the horizontal magnetic field. A centripetal Lorentz force makes the plasma swirl in a circle, the swirling plasma eventually reaches the exit, where the magnetic field is now vertical. The Lorentz force now acts to the right, pushing the plasma out of the thruster and creating thrust. But applied field MPDs have a big drawback. The high power they need can only really be achieved by nuclear reactors, which are currently illegal due to safety concerns. But there is a way to sail through space without any propellant or power, the solar sail. Please like and subscribe for more science content.